What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're back, and you're going to love this one. Folks, what really happened to Ingenuity Helicopter? Now, I'm going to show you some of this information from NASA and other sources, but are they telling the truth? Not going to waste any time. We're going to jump right into this. All right, folks, so I tried to find, as you can see up here, Ingenuity Helicopter broken rotor blades. Now, you can find some of the equipment that was basically crash landed into mars and stuff like that not a big deal it's showing the regular rotor blades on the helicopter and obviously this is not when it's been broken so on and so forth right you can't find a whole lot of information so let me show you what they're showing the public okay this photo right here i'm gonna go ahead and enlarge it this is part of the rotor blade and that's what they're saying and you can see right here perseverance imagery downloaded from mars on sunday february 25th showed the broken off ingenuity blade but hidden in the shadow is some of the raw imagery was the blade itself barely visible in martian dunes okay we'll go with that underneath the photo says nasa's perseverance rover captured the broken off blade of ingenuity on mars on february 25th 2024 using its super cam imager why is it not clearer we'll get into that this image has been enhanced to make the blade more visible on the sand okay and you can see it's uh, a NASA JPL Caltech edited by Josh Dinner. You can read on this. It's talking about how it can't fly again because obviously the blades need to be balanced and all this other good stuff. Okay. Let's check out another image. Now, this is from NASA Science Mars. And you can see Perseverance rover, Mars Perseverance Sol 1072 Supercam camera. Hmm. NASA's Mars Perseverance rover acquired this image using the Supercam remote micro imager. Now, it says located at the top of the rover's mast. Why would it be there instead of around the turret, like on the arm itself? And of course, it says, again, this image was acquired on February 25th, 2024, Sal 1072 at a local mean so little time of 1043 and six seconds, right? And of course, you got an image credit, NASA, JPL, Caltech. And of course, it's got a couple other letters underneath we're not going to get into. However, when you look at this photo, what do we see? Why is it not well detailed right there in your face these cameras are unprecedented folks they can take really really good photos crisp and clear where are they at here's another photo what is this garbage okay now even if we were to believe this i'll show you the bigger photo okay so you can see like the blade looks like it's broken off right here where's the other half of the blade and what's coming off the solar panel it looks, almost looks like something's draped over like a color was taken off of it, right? And it looks like it did bounce. They did say it, it landed and bounced. And this is what I don't get. We have opposing rotors going 2,800 miles an hour, give or take, because they can, you know, depending on the, the summer or the winter, it, it, they'll spin at a different speed due to dense air or non-dense, depending on how you look at it, right? So according to them, when it landed, it made a miscalculation or somehow it blacked out. It got no signal. It just kind of quit and it just dropped to the ground. Okay, I get that. What I don't get is as fast as this thing fell and it broke a blade, clearly it must have been sideways, right? In order to break this blade. At that speed, wouldn't it have knocked this thing over on its side? I would think so. Because here's the thing. It's more blades than there is a box. Because these things are pretty big. Okay, so here's the crystal clear photo of the blade. And you can see it's like in the shadow, it's broken off. And you can see right here, you can just see on the left-hand side of the, uh, the photo, almost at the top. You can see the ball or the foot of this helicopter, right? And it looks like it was right here just to the right and below it a little bit. It looks like the ball sat there and then it kind of bounced. So, okay, so that part's legit, right? This is the crystal clear photo, but yet these are complete garbage. So now we're going to get into that a little bit closer. I'm going to analyze these photos real quick. And then I'm going to show you why they're probably doing this. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here's the original photo. You guys seen this. Now, this was the original size. Made it a little bigger for you folks. Now, let's have a really good look at what this thing really is. Zoom in. We'll just have a closer look at this thing. And I'm going, listen, how how is this possible, folks? That's a rock. It's not even a blade, man. You know, I can look at this thing and I'm saying, okay, where does that look like a rotor blade to anybody? It looks like a rock. It looks like a simple rock laying on the ground. But you'd never know that because of this they're hiding the details so you go oh, okay well 
they tried to bring up the photo. You can see the other one was like they had the orangey pukey color. So they were trying to show it. They said they were enhanced it. No, this is enhancing, and that is not a blade. Sorry, don't believe that. So now we can jump out of that a little bit and just back up. Okay, now the Indian Express was in the newspaper, had this photo. What is going on with this photo here, folks? Check this out. And when I was looking at this, when you first look at it, you can see what looks like, it looks like it's really, it's low res, right? But what's with the pixelation around the photo? Or is it actually pixelation? No. What you're seeing is the actual, any kind of detail. Now it is low res, but you're seeing the detail of that low res. Everything else around it has been completely taken out. Let me show you. So we're going to try to clear it up a little, get rid of some of this color. Folks, I can see this without doing anything to this photo. What is going on here? Look at how it is boxed around this right here. You can see that. That's as plain as day. It's like they kept some of the information. You can see it right here. It's going up. And we'll see if I can outline this just a little bit. So that's not very straight, but you get the idea. Like this. Comes down. Does this. It's literally letting you see the helicopter pot. And that's it, folks. That's it. Why? Why are they doing this? Okay. So let's back up and get into this photo a little bit more. Okay. So I try to dull down the brightness. What I see, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but at the tops of the photo, both left and right, you can see what looks like. And here you hear there's little white pieces. Okay. The one on the right as well, when you look, just above the helicopter, you can see this. Check this out. Now, again, take note of these lines. There's like one here at the top, just above, or it's actually going through the top of it. And you've got the other doing the same thing. They're pretty much in a line. Now, you did see that here when we looked at this photo here. You can just barely see these lines. They're very faint. Right there is one and there's two. You can see that. So I docked them up so you can see this. But again, this area right here on the top left and this one on the right. Folks, there's white objects in the background here. They didn't completely take out what was there. So what is it? We're going to go into the black plate. I'm going to have you guys take a better look at this. Check this out. You can see this pretty darn well. Look at the way they took out all the information around the helicopter itself. You can see that. I'm going to zoom in more. But check that out. They literally took it out purposely so that you and I are not aware of it. Notice how they kept the information of these little wispy dunes right here. You can see them. And I'm just going to show you a couple of them. But check that out. There's two more just below these right in the middle of the photo near the bottom. So they kind of left that information in a little bit, but they didn't leave in the rest. Why? First of all, again, it's a real bad photo. We can see that. But if you do this, you're almost none the wiser. Now, is it possible that this helicopter hit something else and not the ground? I believe, in my opinion, it did. This is what they're actually hiding. Let's take a look at this photo. And I'm going to show you right here, the raw photo. This is the photo we want to look at. This is Mars Perseverance and Sol 58. Now, clearly, that's not the same Sol uh, when this thing actually broke a rotor, right? So what happened to the actual rotor blade? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, is it possible that there's something else in this photo and it shows what this helicopter is really doing on Mars? Let's have a look. Let's clear it up a little bit. Now, let's start to burn around these areas, especially behind the helicopter, which is right here in the middle of the photo. You can see that. I'll zoom in. Okay, it's right there. If I had to guess, it's probably three to four feet, maybe even five feet above the surface. Okay, let's fully enhance this and see what we got. So is this all natural or not? If we were to take a look at the left-hand side of this, and I'll zoom into this. This is crazy. Some of the items that are in this photo don't look like just simple rocks here, folks. you got this piece here. You have almost looks like the shape of a guitar pick right here. Hard to tell what it is. There's no way of vetting any of this. You folks know this. But just the objects and just the things that are in this photo 
all on the bottom here. This kind of looks like that area if you think about it because we have these dual lines right here. But what's in the photo here, folks? Right here is what's really cool. I'm going to back up these steps. Okay. There's something right here. I'm not sure what to even make of this, but they literally tried to take every bit of this out. Now, you can see this right here. Look at the shape of this. This is just wild looking. Let's see if I can draw this out. It's kind of faint now, but literally going like this. And this thing is off the ground. I don't know what that is, but you can see that. Okay. And again, there's little items on the ground here. When you look at some of these things, they literally look like the mechanical parts of some sort. On the left hand side, we got something right here. Something laying right next to it. Now, let me take you all the way to the right. This is cool. Now, when you look at this top right here, it looks like these three squares or three shapes just underneath this here, this lip or this edge, if you will, right here. I don't believe any of this at the top or over this line is a mountain at all. I don't believe that for a moment. Look at some of the shapes that are in here. These are just cool because when you look at this and study this, it looks like there's walls inside this area here, all the way inside here, all of this right here. We have what looks like some kind of shape in here. Again, folks, you can see where they went over this. They literally put something over like a blurring and you can see it, these small objects, these up here, just going to do the three of them real quick. We have something right here. I'm not sure what to make of this. Looks like some kind of rectangular piece or it's part of, in other words, I don't believe it's separate, but it just has this weird look to it. What looks like two holes. You can see there's one here on the left inside the square and you got one on the right. Take that out. More circles and these other shapes right near this right here. You can see that folks, come on, look at this thing. You can see right here, I can actually draw a line right here where it goes across, okay? And you can see it right here where they started it here. And you can actually see the shape of this blurring, okay? This is the reason why this area here, this, this piece right here, I'm gonna to try to draw it again, this straight. It's going down like this. What caught my eye was the very bottom of it. Then I started to get through the actual blurring and this is what I found this weird shape. So there's other objects laying on the ground. You can see this, this object right here. And again, this blurring it's, you can just see it right across this whole area and it's pretty thick to boot. Like if you go through the bottom here, look where this is. Okay. And everywhere in between, you can see this blur. So you literally have to go through it and you can see this piece right here. Look at the, this weird shape of this white item. And there's a bunch more, by the way. Just look around. Again, the shapes, the blurring. All these objects on the ground that are white right there. You can see where they did it here again. The blurring goes straight across. So what they're doing is they're taking out most of the object. So when you see some of this white, you believe, oh, well, that could be just rocks and nothing more because you're not seeing the whole object. And that's the whole idea of it, okay? But if you look between these lines, you can see that there's something there between them, right there. And again, there you go, folks. Like I said, just some of these objects on the ground, this weird piece right here. Like I said, it looks like a giant guitar pick. These objects are on the ground. This in the back. Look at the features or some kind of design thing in there what is that? To me, this is mechanical. So I believe this is what they're after. Now, I believe it is legit that it did actually break a blade. I, I don't have any doubt, but I think it's because it literally crashed into something miscalculated and probably hit it. Not landing on the soft blow away sand. And again, if the blades, any of these blades hit this thing and it just happened to be coming down and it bounced First of all, it, it had to have tilted to the side in order to break a blade, it, the way they're describing it. It would have had to fall into the side, break a blade, and then upright itself, or was it flying around and just happened to hit something and it just, and just automatically just knew to just land right where it was at? And you see where it came to a landing, it just bounced once and slid. That's what it looks like to me. 
Just to recap, not a blade, original photo. Yeah, because that's real detail, isn't it? Not a blade, that's a rock. Put it right there in the middle. Again, you can see pretty much all of the features of the helicopter sitting there, but the rest of it has been censored. And you can see some white objects above it and something up in the upper left corner. There's objects there. I think what it did, it hit it and it just fell to the ground. That is my opinion. That's what I believe happened. And there you go, folks. Folks, when I heard about the helicopter having its mishap and, and broke off a rotor blade, I was thinking, okay, you know, I want to check that out. And when I seen these photos, very lousy photos and censored out, I went, okay, something is amiss. Something doesn't make any sense at all. And when you look at these photos, and like I said, they're censored like you would not believe. There's no detail, completely taken out. Especially the helicopter one, we can see where it's literally boxed in and everything else is completely censored out. Okay, so that's number one. The other one is a rock and not a blade. Um, I think, and when you look at that other photo where there looks like there's objects all over the ground and maybe structures in the back, that tells me that this helicopter was not there to guide the Perseverance. Curiosity never had to get, you know, guided to go anywhere. It knew what to do. This helicopter was designed and put on Mars to go places where that rover cannot go. And I think what it did after 72 missions, it just made a mistake and it come down. It must've been next to something. It might've, it might've been really thin, whatever was sticking out and it just happened to hit it just right. And it just dropped to the ground. That's my opinion. That's what I think is going on. As always folks, drop your comments down. Let me know what you think. Do you find that a little weird that the photos are really crappy? In this day and age, these things, like I said, they could take unprecedented detailed photos and yet we get garbage. As always, guys, don't forget to like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more coming up. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.